Paula Williams with ABCI. Uh, I had someone write me a DM on LinkedIn saying that they had searched our entire site and they found all kinds of advice for brokers, FBOs, MROs, flight schools, consultants, appraisers, etc., but nothing for avionics manufacturers or installers. Um, you're right. This was an oversight. We had actually kind of lumped you guys together with MROs, which was a big mistake. And I totally admit that we do need to um, address avionics. It's a really important part of the industry. And you guys are very much uh, in the mix as far as marketing and you have a lot to do. In our experience, avionics companies tend to rely on the traditional favorites, which are trade shows and magazines. Uh, those are great, but there are a few problems with these. Trade shows have proliferated uh, and have gotten a lot more expensive in recent years. Uh, but many of our clients are getting fewer leads and lower quality leads from the trade shows that they've been going to. Uh, the biggest players at a trade show, you know, the big static displays and the huge booths and the uh, dancing robots and, you know, all of the um, shiny objects get all of the attention, but the people with the 10 by 10 or even 20 by 20 booths uh, find that are, people are just walking by or they take your candy and they take your swag without even stopping for a conversation. Uh, magazines are also great, but uh, and we love supporting aviation journalism, but frankly, uh, their distribution is down and their rates are not so you're paying essentially the same or more for fewer eyeballs than that actually see your posts so that is not working as well as it used to either so what do you do uh first thing that we usually advise is do fewer shows but do the heck out of them right um so choose one or two shows a year if you've been doing you know six or eight that may be too many you can cut back on the number of shows, but spend the same amount of money and do the heck out of them. So get a bigger booth, spend more time planning a campaign, plan the reasons for people to visit your booth, schedule product demos, uh, do trivia games, have guest speakers, do a champagne toast to celebrate a new product or something, um, have a coffee meetup one morning of the show. Uh, you know, there's lots of different things that you can do to actually give people a reason to stop by your booth and spend some time with your sales folks, which is really why you're there to begin with. Um, have your salespeople schedule meetings with prospects and customers, fill their calendar way ahead of the meeting so that they're booked solid, uh, so that they're just doing scheduled meetings the whole time. And you also have a few extra people in the booth that are able to interact with uh, with visitors as well. So fewer shows, but do the heck out of them, right? Um, second thing, do magazine ads, but do smaller ads and do them more frequently. So one full page ad will not have the impact of a well-designed quarter page ad that is run monthly that has a great headline and a great call to action. Uh, and you know, you can even change that ad every month and have it lead to a video demo or another, you know, some other attractive call to action so that you actually get that person to do something as a result of that ad. It's uh, called direct advertising or direct marketing is what they call it in the, the um, marketing world. So, uh, you know, those are two things that we recommend for what you're usually doing uh, or what you have been doing in the past. And of course, SEO, digital marketing, all of those things are on the table for avionics companies as much as they are for any of the rest of the aviation industry. In fact, they may work better because there is less competition doing the digital options like SEO, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, and uh, you know those types of things. In fact, LinkedIn is working really, really well for business to business right now so that's one of the things that we're focusing on with a lot of our clients in 2023 okay so those are a few of our suggestions for avionics companies and uh we apologize for the oversight uh we will not neglect you guys in the future and uh we really look forward to working with you if uh if it's a good fit so uh, if you'd like to sit down and talk about your company 
Uh, we do offer free consultations. The calendar is a little bit crazy uh, with the holiday and everything, but we do look forward to talking with you and sitting down and, and having a conversation about what you've done in the past, what's worked well, what hasn't worked as well, how we can take it to the next level. Talk to you soon.